Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training video, and this is the 15th video of this series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy distributed switch for vMotion. As we know, we require a dedicated uh, switches for vMotion traffic. So I'm going to deploy the dedicated switch for vMotion uh, traffic. So in this video what we have we have uh, five virtual machines here the first one is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory domain controller you can see my domain con uh, domain name is vectorinfosol.com and if you want to see here is my win2k12 dc01 i have installed active directory on dscp role a uh, dns role on this machine you can verify the computer name my domain name and here you can see active directory and dns role is installed on this machine and my second machine is vCenter 6 which is my basically vCenter server on which I have installed the vCenter server basically and also I have installed a vSphere client and vSphere web client and I have logged into my uh, vSphere uh, client to my vCenter server so and then uh, and then next three is ESX host all the three is ESX host ESX 01, 02 and 03 you can verify from here all are VMware ESX i 6.0.0 version and the all three ESX host is connected to my vCenter server and under the DC India data center and we are getting our storage uh, for uh, lunch from like uh, Starwind virtual SAN if you want to check out just go and check out here and storage you can see the lunch zero is Starwind ISKC disk so this is the infrastructure which we are going to use and so next step by step to create and deploy distributed switch so previously we have deployed uh, if you go here under the networking tab you can see we have deployed one production uh, distributed switch and we have deployed the two port group as well as here so what I am going to do I am going to uh, uh, deploy one more port group here which is uh, for vMotion dedicated for vMotion so let's do that so so I'm going to do this uh, from like web client so just log into VMware vSphere web client so I click use Windows session authentication allow and it will log into my session Windows session which is a vCenter admin account So we are on home page. Just give me a few seconds to initialize the home page. So go to networking tab and we have all the board group here click on manage and then if you click on topology on a topology page you can see what is currently assigned here so what I'm going to do click on edit button so we are on the property of uh, production distributed switch and I'm going to increase the uplink here and click OK and now one more time you can able to see here six port now so two more uplink are added go and rename the uplink which is the next task uh, add and uh, uh, rename the uplink on it existing switches so and to do that rename and modify it like vmotion 01 and vmotion 02 click ok and just let it refresh once so now you can see our nick is a refresh here and now the next task is create a new, s uh, new switch port group so I'm going to do that from here right click and go ahead and create a new distributed port group and 
can call it like V motion group click next on the configuration page leave the default port binding is static and port allocation is static so it's if required it will increase or decrease the port needed so click next and click on finish so now you can see vmotion port group is added here so let's do the next step assign uplink to distributed port group so let's check out here so the port group is created here you can see a static binding elastic everything seems good so to uh, assign the port group uh, go on topology page and click on edit button so you can see the basically we have to go on here vmotion port group then manage if you click on edit button also on the teaming and failover you are able to see the all the NICAR added to actor link so I'm not going to use the all the links we just need to use the vmotion 01 and 02 so click OK now it's reconfiguring the distributed port group and now if you click OK on edit button and go on teaming and failover just double check the active uplink is modified so and the next task is create a VM kernel network adapter on all the ESX hosts so to do this we have to go to our ESX host basically so we have total three ESX host here if you click on network so you are able to see the all the uh, vmotion port group as well as here so just click on manage go to networking and uh, under the um, like here you are able to see the uh, ports are mentioned here when it is mentioned and if you click on you can see no link is associated with this so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a kernel port here for me vmotion so vm kernel port for like vmotion ISQC and NFC traffic so click next and use the existing network or use the existing standard switch so I'm going to use a like a distributor switch so click on it and select the distributed switch which you want to use click OK and now we have vmotion port group by using this we are going to create a like uh, traf, uh, port, uh, uh, kernel port and select here vmotion traffic click next and use the static IP address 192.68.1. in my case I am going to use like 231 and uh, the default class separate mode for class C click on finish and now if you click on vmotion you are able to see the nick I'll uh, mention here and able to see the vmotion settings here vm kernel port also is binded with it so same we need to do on second ESX host so go on ESX host see no kernel port is added here so add vm kernel port click next and select the vmotion port group this from distributor switch click next and vmotion traffic click next and assign the IP address to this port 921681.232 and class C default subnet mask here click next and finish now it's configuring added, uh, adding a 
VM Connect Nick for V motion. Verify the same. Here you can see it's added now, and same we have to repeat on our third ESX host as well as so add the NIC VM kernel network adapter click next then select this boot group click OK click next and vmotion traffic put the IP address 192.168.1.233 and type the subnet mask for it click on finish button so it's applying the changes here this allows some time and now you are able to see the vmotion is created and if you want to check out you can check out it's mapped with vmotion ports as well as so we are almost done with this task and now we have to go to next step which is deploy vmotion distributor switch in all ESX host to verify this uh, I'm going on like my networking first select the distributed port and go to like here you can see the basically host which is added so I'm going to click on a small icon so we can modify the host settings so add uh, so I'm going to modify the existing switches existing distributed switch so add host and manage host networking advance click next and here we have attach host uh, option so just select it so I want to go with all the ESX host click on OK button so click on next and now we have to manage the physical adapter and uh, manage like vmotion adapter as well as don't need to do anything like migrate the hosted settings migrate the virtual machine we do not require for now so click next and now we have option to map the like uh, switches so uh, next physically so I'm assigned going to assign with um, vmotion 01 and the salmon with vmotion 02 and don't go need to change these these are coming for ISC traffic so same I want to go and do on my second ESX host vmotion 01 and the next vm next 7 with the like vmotion 2 and go and do the same on third ESX host and now if you click on next you are able to see here like um, all this thing is given here so vmotion group need to move to vmotion group and just migrate the third from ASX host also to vmotion port group and from third as well as so we have to migrate it so select it and click next and now it's imp uh, checking the impact of uh, on ISKC disk so no impact on our ISKC uh, devices so click next ready to go and click on finish now it's applying the changes manage host and adapter on distributor switch now you can see the all the update network configuration has been done on all the ESX host and the last task is verify the vmotion distributions on all, all the ESX host so go on any of the ESX host and just verify it like I'm going on my third ESX host and related object you can see here the like vmotion port group is added and if you go on like a manage and we have a product uh, uh, prod D switch 
on which we have V motion and it's attached now and you can also verify from here like and on a summary page and from like here you can also verify uh, from our v, uh, v spare client V motion distributed switch is now applied on our machine and if you want to do the migration you can just go and migrate now machines to another ESX host by failing anything so change host you want to change the host just go and you can say the validation is success let's change the host so high priority do this so don't worry we have a separate video for migrating the virtual machine and doing the vmotion and storage vmotion so just verify the things is happening with the our v migrated uh, the newly created um, uh, vmotion switch so it's now you can see the migrating the virtual machine active state and it's migrating from 0 1 to 0 2 just give a second and now you can verify the machine is migrated successfully so this is all about in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on given me daddy thank you once again bye bye